title of this month's macro note is The Chilling Effect of a Hot War. Russia's incursion into Ukraine began in the early hours of February 24th and has progressed rapidly and violently since. The gravity of the situation for Ukraine's people and the seriousness of the geopolitical risks cannot be overlooked. But direct implications for institutional real estate portfolios are relatively limited. The key channels of influence on property markets are likely to be indirect and macroeconomic in nature. These include higher inflation, risk-off market sentiment, and accelerated changes in the European energy mix. Ukrainian and Russian properties will clearly feel the most direct effects from the conflict, the former because of the likelihood of physical damage, and the latter driven by economic sanctions. According to LaSalle's Investable Universe estimates, Ukraine and Russia together account for just 3% of Europe's total invested institutional real estate stock. The more transparent EU member states in the region, such as Poland and the Czech Republic, are more relevant for real estate investors. Many pan-European portfolios have exposures to these key Central European markets. These are places that have boomed as consumer economies and also as sites for near-shored services and manufacturing. For these markets, there is cause for optimism, so it is reasonable to expect risk aversion to cause some investors to shy away from the region in the short run. But these countries are NATO members and are thus protected by the alliance's Article 4 Mutual Defense Pact. A scenario where Russia directly attacks a NATO member would represent a far more brazen move on Russia's part than its attack on Ukraine. Although direct impacts on investable property are limited, indirect macro risks from the conflict are substantial. Aggregate trade flows between major developed economies in Russia or Ukraine suggest a very limited drag on growth, but the concentration of experts in certain key commodities will probably drive inflation higher at an unwelcome time. Russia is one of the world's largest oil producers and a supplier of metals such as nickel, aluminum, and palladium. Major natural gas pipelines run to Europe from Russia and Ukraine. The geography of gas infrastructure means that several large EU countries, especially Germany and Italy, are heavily reliant on these exports of Russian gas. The current gas storage levels are ample, meaning that a slowdown or shutoff in flows would not necessarily create a shortage in this heating season, but it would have knock-on effects on supply levels later in the year. So how much could this boost inflation? If the gas and oil price jumps seen in the early days of the invasion are sustained, we estimate that this would increase Eurozone headline inflation by a percentage point by mid-2022. Meanwhile, both Russia and Ukraine are both major wheat producers, and Russia makes ingredients for fertilizer, suggesting possible implications for food prices. It's tempting to assume that higher inflation means higher interest rates, but the Ukraine crisis may or may not lead to increases in borrowing rates for real estate. As is common in geopolitical crises, long bond yields in major developed economies have come under downward pressure as investors seek safe haven assets. Central banks will be torn between addressing heightened inflation and the risks to growth. On balance, the pace of monetary tightening may be a little slower and a little later than originally forecast. Direction of borrowing costs, therefore, depends on changes in risk premium. The longer and broader the scope of the conflict, the more deeply risk-off market sentiment will likely turn. Taking the long view, the conflict is causing Europe to reflect on how it can improve its resilience to geopolitical risks, and especially how it came to be so dependent on Russian gas in the first place. At the level of real estate, the existing movement away from buildings' use of gas, driven by sustainability objectives, is likely to be accelerated by these energy security worries. Additionally, given that Russian attacks on NATO members are more probable in cyberspace than physical space, the cybersecurity defenses of building systems may need to be fortified. Both of these factors could drive up capital expenditure for real estate. Real estate investors are wise to anticipate incrementally higher inflation, particularly in construction materials and energy costs, while evaluating the relative magnitudes of the upward and downward pressures on the cost of debt. The March macro deck contains a summary of the rapidly evolving situation in Ukraine, as well as other trends around the world.